you know, I started thinking that maybe, maybe with uh, age, I'm getting a little, a little soft, <laughs> a little, a little mellow. You know, I really, uh, and don't get me wrong, I still enjoy looking at uh, and interacting with these big beasts. be a, a a very a very very special fish for me you know I love I love a fish that actually interacts with you isn't afraid to come to the front and especially when you when you've had a chance to grow them out and and watch them go from from being a, a, a little a little fish to just being an up you know a big beast you know this 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 vieja back here I, I, I picked that vieja up probably about two inches. Maybe, maybe two inches. He's pushing over 10 inches now. And I, I just love watch that, watching that transition, watching that evolution. And, and uh, uh, But I tell you, uh, recently I've been getting a tremendous amount of joy and pleasure in in watching um, in watching something as simple as a snail, and uh, you know like 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 this pagoda snail, or if you can see, I don't know if you can make out the babies, the babies in the back of this tank. It's just loaded with with little little babies back there, and and also harvesting some water sprite. There's a little baby right there, right in the middle, and how they survive in there is amazing to me. And uh, you know, interacting with a, with a betta fish, you know, like this guy here, just an absolutely gorgeous fish. It's like red velvet. So I'm I'm, I'm changing, you know, I'm I'm changing as a fish keeper. I'm trying to enjoy uh, just a wider, just a wider band of. Uh, of fish and 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 species, you know, uh, corys, you know, like little corys working over here, and and uh, rummy nose and the keeping of plants and th these none of these things were really part of of my fish keeping. You know, none of this was part of, of the channel of the of the YouTube channel uh, just not that long ago, and so um, so it it's I'm changing, I'm evolving, I'm I'm. Uh, and I don't think it's really getting necessarily soft or uh, mellow in my old age as much as it is just uh, uh, maybe growing. I'll call it growing. That's probably a better uh, a better way of referring to it. <laughs> so what do you think? If you've been keeping fish for a long time, uh, tell me how, how you've changed. How, how have you changed over time? Are you, are, you, are you moving in different directions? Have you switched the type of fish you keep? Uh, and, and why? Why? Why did that happen? I'm I'm seeing it occur with me, and I'd be curious to hear from you what what uh, what kind of changes you went through as you got older and you got up in in uh, you know and, and, and up in the years and experience and and what kind of changes you might have gone through in your fish keeping. All right, thank you, my friends, and we'll talk about this and a heck of a lot more on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Hope to see you there. Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. We'll talk about everything from filtration to uh, to fish, uh, fish care, all types of fish, from community to planted tanks to the big beasts. And uh, boy, look at that fire mouth! Always getting into it with that with that Nicaragua. They never hurt each other. It's just a matter of hey, man. You know, like when I was a kid growing up in Central. Central Los Angeles. Hey, man, where are you from? <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in, my friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.